that the Bible uses the word witness over 400 times. But what does the word witness even mean? Well, witness has two meanings. Firstly, if you see and hear and experience an event, then you are a witness of that event. But then, if you go and tell somebody else what you've seen and heard and experienced, then you are being a witness. So you can witness something with your eyes and then go and be a witness with your mouth. And the last thing that Jesus said to his disciples before he went back to heaven was, and you will receive power when the Holy Spirit comes upon you, and you will be my witnesses in Jerusalem, Judea, Samaria, and to the ends of the earth. And so what Jesus was telling his disciples and what Jesus is telling us is he wants us to go and witness, to go and tell others about the amazing things that we have seen and heard him do. So let's look at that verse again. Jesus said, and you will receive power when the Holy Spirit comes upon you and you will be my witnesses in Jerusalem. So if we are to be like the disciples, does that mean that we all have to pack our bags and move to Jerusalem? Well, no, not quite. You see, Jerusalem is the town where the disciples were living. And so when Jesus told them to be a witness in Jerusalem, he was telling them to go and tell the people in their neighboring town, the people that they saw every single day about him. So there's some items in this box. Let's unpack it and see if we can figure out where we can be a witness. There's a family photo in here. And so when Jesus says he wants us to be a witness in Jerusalem, he's saying that we can tell our family about him. Maybe you read something in the Bible and you can share that with your family. A lunchbox? This always makes me think of break time with my friends. And so when Jesus is telling us that we can be a witness in Jerusalem, he is saying that we can be a witness to our friends, the people that we see every single day. in Jerusalem and in Judea. Now, Judea is the country where the disciples were living. And so when Jesus told them to be a witness in Judea, he was saying, guys, go a little bit further. Go and tell even more people about me, not just the people that you see every day. So let's unpack this box and see if we can figure out where we can be a witness. This is a family tree. Now, many of us have family members that live quite far away and we don't get to see them every day. But we can be a witness to them and we can tell them that even though we're not with them, they are never alone because Jesus is always with them. A shopping bag? Oh, there's even a shopping list in here. Well, we can be a witness to the people at the shops. Sometimes it's as easy as just giving someone a smile and telling them, hey, Jesus loves you. Being a witness doesn't mean that we have to use big fancy words or have long speeches prepared. A syringe and a, and a doctor's mask? Well, when we go to the doctor's office or the hospital, we can encourage people there that Jesus is good and that Jesus loves them. We can be a witness to anybody, not just our friends, not just our families, not just children, but grown-ups and strangers and absolutely everybody needs to hear about Jesus. So let's read the verse again. Jesus said, you will be my witnesses in Jerusalem, Judea and Samaria. Now, Samaria is the kingdom where the disciples were living. And so again, Jesus was telling them and us to go a little bit further. So let's see what's inside this box and see if we can figure out where we can be a witness. A beach towel and a safari hat. Well, many of us often go on nice family holidays and this is away from our hometown. This is away from the people that we see every day. But we can be a witness to 
to them. We can tell the people how God has protected us on the road. We can share testimonies about how, how much God loves us. And we can be a witness. This little hat is all the way from Lesotho. And that's one of the neighboring countries that we have here in South Africa. And so when Jesus was telling his disciples to be witnesses in Samaria, he was saying, hey, guys, look at your neighboring countries. And so for us, that could be Lesotho or Mozambique or Namibia. And we could go on mission trips and tell others about Jesus. Now, let's look at the verse again. Jesus said that you will be my witnesses in Jerusalem, in Judea, in Samaria, and to the ends of the earth. But where exactly is the end of the earth? Well, let's unpack the box. Maybe we'll figure it out. Oh, this, is, this is Ireland and, and South Korea and, and Argentina and, and, and America and, and Japan and, and England and, and Norway and France and Greece and Brazil. The ends of the earth means every single country, every single tribe and tongue and nation of the world. God wants us to go and be witnesses to them. Jesus wants us to tell everybody about what he has done, about how much he loves them, that he came and that he died for them. So that if they believe in him, then they can spend eternity in heaven with him one day too. But this can seem very overwhelming. I mean, that verse in Acts is sometimes called the Great Commission. That's like a great job that we've got to do. That, that feels like a lot. But hang on, let's just read that verse one more time. And Jesus said, you will receive power when the Holy Spirit comes upon you and you will be my witnesses in Jerusalem, Judea, Samaria, and to the ends of the earth. Well, how amazing is that? That even though Jesus has given us this great big job, he hasn't left us to do it alone. He has given us his Holy Spirit to guide us and to give us wisdom and to tell us what we need to say and where we need to go. So now that we understand this verse better, where will you go and be a witness? And who will you tell about Jesus?